Hi, welcome to Missing Chemistry. This is Percent of Composition Lesson A. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple problems trying to figure out the percent of composition of them. So let's take our first problem, and our first problem is going to be uh, copper bromide. So we go CuBr2, that's copper bromide. All right, now, copper is 1 times 63.55, and that's grams per mole, and bromine is 2 times, of course, 79.90. So when we multiply 79.90 by 2, we're going to get the um, number, let's see, seven, hang on, 79.90 times 2. That's going to be 159 there, 0.8. And, of course, copper is 63.55. So when we add these together... That gives me 223.35 grams per mole of CuBr2. So what is the percent of each element in the copper bromide? So what's the percent of copper and what's the percent of bromide? Okay. So what we're going to do is this. We take the molar mass of copper, which is 63.55, divide it by the molar mass of the complete compound. Okay, and then we just cancel out the grams per mole. We times that by 100. When we do that, we take 63.3 cancel that, 63.55 divided by 223.35 times 100. And that gives me 28.4 uh, percent. Uh, okay? So now we want to know the percent of bromine. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go bromine is normally going to be, there's two bromines there, so it's 159.8 divided by 223.35. We times this by 100. Okay. So we take the 159.8 divided by 223.35. And that's going to give me 71. Point five five percent. So so when you add these two together, that's what you get. You're going to should be able to get a hundred percent out of that. Okay. Well, so let's see there. We got twenty eight point four five. Okay. We go times a hundred plus. 28.45, and that makes 99.999%, roughly uh, 100%. So that's good. All right, let's clear that problem. Let's do another one. So we're going to erase the drawings here. Now we want to do, let's say, sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So now we have to figure out the molar mass of sodium hydroxide first, which is 22.99 for the sodium. We have one oxygen. And we have one hydrogen, of course. So we want to add all these up. So 1.01 plus 16.00 plus 22.99. And that's what gave me 40.0 grams per mole of NaOH. So now, what is the percent of sodium, what is the percent of oxygen, and what is the percent of hydrogen in that compound? So to do that, we're going to go, okay, 22.99, that's the sodium mass, divided by the 40.00 times 100. So we're going to take 22.99 divided by 40, and that's times 100. So that's telling me that sodium is 
four uh, eight percent of the compound. Oxygen. Well, oxygen sixteen point zero zero divided by a forty again times one hundred. So we're going to go sixteen divided by forty times 100 is 40 percent. Okay, and now let's look at the hydrogen. So that's 1.01 divided by 40 times 100. So we go 1.01 divided by 40 times 100 is roughly 2.53 percent. All right, let's uh, add this all up and let's see what we get. So we got 2.25 plus 40.00 plus 57.48, and we get 100%. So that works out really, really well. Okay, guys, let's do, um, well, let's try, what do you think, one more problem? Or let's do, yeah, let's try one more problem. All right, in this case, we're going to look and clear this out real quickly, clear the drawings. And we're going to look at the compound NH42S. Hmm. So now we've got two N's. We have eight hydrogens. How do we get eight hydrogens? Two times four. Okay. And then we have one S. So nitrogen, according to the periodic table, is 14.01. Hydrogen, its molar mass is 0 0.1. And sulfur is 32.07. So let's go ahead and add these all up. So we get 32.07 plus 1.01 plus 28.02. So when we add these guys up, let's see here, what did we get? 28.02 plus, uh, sorry about that, guys, this is 8.08. <laughs> I'm going too fast. Plus, uh, 28.02 plus 8.08 plus 32.07. So that's 68.17 grams per mole. That's the entire compound NH42S. So what's the percent of nitrogen? What's the percent of hydrogen? And what's the percent of sulfur? So we start with the nitrogen. So we go 14. That's going to be 14. Remember, that's N times 2. So this is going to give me 28.02 divided by 68.17 times 100. So that percent is going to be, let's see here. One moment. times 100 is going to be roughly 41.10, 40, 41, 41.10 percent nitrogen, okay? Hydrogen, it's going to be 8.08 .08 divided by the total molar mass, 68.17 times 100. So hydrogen is going to be 8.08 .08 divided by 68.17 times 100, 11.85 percent hydrogen, okay, and then the sulfur, of course, is 32.07 divided by um, our molar mass, which is 68.17 times 100. So we get 32.07 divided by 68.17 and times 100. That gives me 47.04%. So let's add all these up just out of curiosity of sulfur. Um, let's just uh, take a look to see what that uh, actually equals. So we take 47.04 uh, 
plus 11.85 plus 41.10, and that gives me 99.99%, which is 100%. All right. Well, listen, you guys be snarly. We'll see you here back at Moose and Chemistry.